Okay, going ahead with our quadrilaterals in section uh, six five. Uh, we're going to introduce rhombi in squares. Rhombi is plural for rhombus. Okay, so think of a rhombus. Uh, what does a rhombus look like? A lot of people describe it as a diamond. I'm not sure that's an adequate or accurate description, but uh, we'll get to it in a minute. Uh, and we've got our Venn diagram up here that uh, describes what's going on. In the big box, our universe is quadrilaterals. Okay, quadrilaterals have two characteristics. They are four-sided polygons, and the sum of the interior, interior angles equals 360. And inside of quadrilaterals, we have parallelogram. Parallelogram has five characteristics on top of the two that it gets from quadrilaterals. Those five characteristics, two pair of opposite parallel sides, two pair of opposite congruent sides, two pair of opposite congruent angles, consecutive angles are supplementary, and the diagonals bisect each other. Okay? All right, so far we have seven characteristics of parallelograms, the two from quadrilaterals and the five from parallelograms. Rectangles. <clears throat> and that's right there. Rectangles are parallelograms, the type of parallelogram. And they have their own characteristics or rules. First rule for rectangles is all interior angles are congruent. Second one is the diagonals are congruent. The diagonals of rectangles are congruent. Okay? Now, in introducing the rhombi, they have their own set of characteristics, three of them. One, all sides are congruent. Notice that rectangles, all angles are congruent. Rhombi, all sides are congruent. Over here, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Okay? Parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. Rhombi, they're perpendicular to each other. And in rhombi, not only do the diagonals bisect each other, but they also bisect the opposite angles. Okay? So the diagonals bisect each other, and they bisect the angles in which they go through. Okay? Now, squares are interesting. Squares live in two worlds, two cultures. They include the DNA of rectangles, and they include the DNA of rhombi. So is a square a rectangle? Yes. Is a square a rhombus? Yes. Wait a minute. How can it be both? Same way we have people in our world who live and belong to two different cultures, two different heritages, okay? I'm not just from one heritage. I have Irish, English, German, okay, other people, I have Indian, American Native Indian, Hispanic, other people have Latin American and Hispanic, Latin American and Asian, okay, different cultures. So each one, this lives in two different cultures, okay? Got it? Squares are both rectangles and rhombi. That means squares. All interior angles are congruent. Their diagonals are congruent. All their sides are congruent. Their diagonals are perpendicular. And their diagonals bisect opposite angles. Okay? Introduction to rhombi and squares characteristics. Okay, let's do some sample problems with uh, rhombus and squares, okay? Uh, remember, here they are. Here's all the rules that we've got and characteristics. We're going to refer back to those as we determine what characteristics will help us solve uh, the problems, okay? Now, we're given a rhombus, A, B, C, D, and we know that the uh, diagonals bisect each other at E. Now, there's a couple of things we need to point out here. Rhombus.
us. We know that each side is congruent with each other. All right? We also know that this is a right angle. We also know that what? The diagonals bisect the opposite angles. So we know that this equals this. Well, that angle, the opposite angles are congruent, so if we bisect the opposite angles, that equals that. Oh, and down here, this equals this, that equals that. Okay? So we sort of mark that up. Other things we can do here is we know that this equals this, and this equals this. Okay? So we've marked up a whole bunch of things there that we can use. Now, if we know that the measure of angle ABD, ABD, okay, this angle right here, vertex at B, ABD, equals 60, let's change that to degrees, find the measure of angle BDC. BDC, well, look, we've already marked that up. Why? Because the diagonals bisect the opposite angles. So if it, this right there is 60, okay, we're saying that's 60 degrees, all these have to be 60, so this has to be 60. So measure angle BDC equals 60 degrees. Pretty simple. Now, if AB equals 26 degrees, 26 saying this right here equals 26, and BD, the whole thing, equals 20. In other words, this whole thing right there is 20. Find out what AE is. Well, let's see here. We know this is a right angle, right? So this is a right triangle. If we can know the hypotenuse and the leg of a right triangle, can we find the other leg? Yeah, I think Pythagorean Theorem lets us do that. So if this whole thing is 20, we know that BE equals what? That's 10, and this is 10. Okay? So we know what the hypotenuse is. We know what this leg is. Woo, okay, we just need to set up the equation. So how do we set up that equation? 26 squared equals... 10 squared plus x squared, okay, what's in the world is 26 squared, I don't know, I'm going to have to play with it, let's see, 26 squared, okay, calculator says that that is 676, so 676 equals 10 squared is 100 plus x squared, Subtract the 100 minus 100. We're going to get, let's take this right down here, 576 equals x squared. Okay? Uh, if we take square root of 576, wow. I think you'll find that x equals. 24. Well, what's x? x is AE. It's our other leg. So this equals 24. Okay? Now number three, find the measure of CEB. Well, CEB is this angle right here. CEB. What does it say right here? Diagonals are perpendicular. We know this is a right angle. Oh, that's a right angle. What's that equal? 90 degrees. Okay? This one is going to take a little work. If AE, AE, half of this diagonal here is 3x minus 1, and the whole diagonal is 16, find x. So well, AE, we said, was 1 half of the di that diagonal. So we have... 3x minus 1 equals 16 divided by 2. That is 3x minus 1 equals 8. It's 
add 1 plus 1. 3x equals 9. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. x equals 3. Okay? Now let's see if that's correct. 3 times 3 minus 1 equals 9 minus 1 equals 8. Half of 16 is 8. Okay? Simply by using the characteristics, we know a whole lot about this figure. We know a whole lot of the angles are equal, <coughs> congruent. We know the sides are congruent. We know this right here, they're right triangles. Well, wow, what can we do with right triangles? We can use Pythagorean theorem. So anytime you have a rhombus, okay, there's a lot of things you can do with it, figure out what the measurements are. Okay, you have squares, you can have even more. Why? Because these angles, we begin to know what they are. Why? Because they're rectangles and all those angles are equal. Okay? Squares live in both worlds. They live in the worlds of rectangles, have to obey their rules, and they live in the world of rhombus, and they have to live their rules. Okay? Rhombi and squares.